hi guys welcome to today's tutorial yes of course now you can see what we have here it's a, a straw base score cap or would i call it bishop cap and of course we'll be using for this tutorial a crinoline both the one that is a bit patterned and um, a plain one so the plain one is the one i've used to form a rose all right we'll also be needing a jewelry wire of this nature and um, of course we'll be using a fishing line for our invisible thread as our invisible thread though okay we'll be using a needle and thread too you can see our u gum and um, a measuring tape and um, some flowers and that should be it of course we'll also be needing a feather if should in case you have a change of mind and also a glue gun and also a masking tape so we'll be moving to the next stage of it we've introduced the materials now for our straw score cap or our straw bishop cap we'll actually be taking the measurement around it we're taking the circumference so that we will know how um how much of um, the crinoline we'll be using to form the brim you understand so of course what i got here was um two 21.5 inches so i'll actually be timesing this 21.5 inches times three considering the fact that um we'll be gathering the crinoline you of course you understand so but if you want it to be a bit fuller than what you have seen in the picture of course you may decide to just times it by four so it will be giving you around eight something but for um, this one, I'll be measuring around um, 63 or 65.5 roughly. So that is what it is. And um, I've actually cut it out already. And I'm um, using the threaded part of the crinoline to pull and off, off, also give it um, some gathers. You understand? So that's what it is. Okay, guys, you can see that um, I've actually started knotting the other part of the crinoline. That's the other end of the crinoline. This is to enable it not to loosen when I leave that part because, of course, you can't just keep stretching one side of the crinoline. So, as we've stretched this side, I'm actually knotting so that I can go to the other side of the crinoline and start pulling. That way, we can be able to get the exact measurement of the circumference. Do you understand? I mean, that way we can also be able to make sure the whole crinoline is well gathered. So at this point, I'm also going to be making sure that I get the exact uh, measurement of the circumference of the bishop cap. That way, it will also enable you to make um, to get the the crinoline all round the bishop cap. Because if you don't measure and you start applying, you might get short of the crinoline or you might get excess of it it's even better to get excess of the crinoline base i mean of the crinoline brim than getting short of it because you can easily cut off the excess 
but um getting short of it of course you can't actually minimize your bishop cap of course so that's where you should also consider taking measurement for applying now another way you can easily get to know this or to get to um get the exact uh, circumference of the bishop cap when placing you can decide to start pinning down just as the way i'm doing now then when you'll see that um it's not up to you can remove the pins and readjust the gathers and of course you should be able to get it that way or you take the measurement of 21.5 inches then of course you will know that it's going to go around but it's safer this way by pinning down then when you get to the point you join the two ends of the crinoline together that's when you get to the end point you join the two ends of the crinoline together then you fully now adjust the gather so that it can be even why you apply it to the or why you fix it to the um, straw bishop cap you understand so that is what i'm going to be doing that is what i'm doing so if you don't understand it's best you watch and watch closely thank you
point, um, you can see that um, we are done. We've met the the other part of the crinoline. Like we've got it to the point where the other part of the crinoline had already started. So of course you already see what I'm doing. I'm knotting the other end of it so that by the time we remove the pins from the attached crown, we can comfortably now adjust the garters and um, now finally fix it to the brim. Do you understand? So um, and now finally fix it to the crown. So what it is is that um, what it entails is that we we'll have to um, sew underneath this time. Why I just attached on top of the, just right beside the cream of the straw crown, is just so we can um, comfortably see how well we can, the cream only can sit. So now you can see that I'm pulling off, I'm removing the pins now. This is just what you will do. And after removing the pins, of course, like I said earlier, we will now easily adjust so that all the gathers can be even. Not that the other part is extremely gathered, why the other part is slightly gathered, you understand? So that is just what it is. So I hope you understand and I hope you keep watching so you understand better. Love you. As you can see now, uh, we are done gathering, and um, of course, this is the point where the crinoline are meeting. So we'll be starting from this point to actually attach our our jewelry wire. You see where I was pulling out the wires from the um, big bundle. So when you feel this is enough for the whole um, crinoline, you're of course you already by now you would uh, you would know the total crinoline you are using so that will give you the exact measurement for the um, jewelry wire you'll be using so as you can see um, I've cut out the one that will go around um, the crinoline and of course I'm already treading my needle so that I can actually start stitching so one thing is sure this is not just an ordinary stitch and of course you can see that the um, jewelry wire it's uh, coily and uh, of course it's going to easily pull out if care is not taken. So the only way we can actually hold it down is by actually using gum. So just keep watching how I, I was able to do mine so that when you're trying yours you will be able to be you can yeah, you can actually get the exact way to hold down your 
jewelry wire so that is just what it is now i've um, i'm trying to separate the jewelry wire so that i can actually work on it with the crinoline so just place your jewelry wire just the way i'm placing it now then um overlap it with the crinoline but before you overlap it with crinoline get your hot glue gun um gum and then place just little don't be too don't let it get too much if it's too much it will make it look so messy so just little while you place it there i like to get cool a bit then you overlap it like overlap it with the crinoline you understand just um that way then that's how you keep doing it then at this point get your needle and thread or your fishing line and thread and um, give it a simple stitch that's where the uh, jewelry wire will stay intact you understand so and it won't go anywhere huh? of course so that is what it is and um um you can just see how i'm actually knotting the whole thing i'm giving it an overlap stitch an overlap stitch i don't know if this is overlap yeah it should be overlap stitch so afterwards when you get to the point that you've glued down get another gum glue it again then you continue that way so i'll be sharing with you the finished look of course i'll just want you to watch how i did this and um afterwards i'll be showing you the finished look and you see how beautiful and messy it is but all the same it still gave us a beautiful work so don't get so bothered if it's looking so messy and uh, you don't feel f very comfortable with it of course you'll be covering it with a piece of shape or any other bias you have at your disposal so that should be something you should keep in mind and also while you are adding your glue gun do not allow it to exceed the the hems of the crinoline so that it doesn't um, give a further stain to your brim so that should also be something you should consider while you're doing that of course you can see that um this is time consuming so if you're ready for this hat you have to have enough time at your disposal if not you might um you might get frustrated along the line but with the help of this video with the help of this tutorial you should be able to do justice to this hat all right so that's what it is just keep watching we still have more for you to learn
see now that um, we have already started applying our Peter Shem and I'm um, using a U gum here or any other fabric adhesive that you have at your disposal can also serve this but basically if you can also stitch you can go through um, you can run a, um, a, um, a machine stitch on the Peter Shem with your crinoline so either way it's okay so from but for me you can see what i'm doing and of course you've seen how the we were able to attach our, our jewelry wire to the brim and um, you can see already the finished work everything is now looking more beautiful than it was before so now we'll be placing our crown to the brim already we have a brim now so now we can actually be we can now attach our brim to the crown with the use of um, some uh, little hidden stitch that's which can enable us at um, tack the brim to the crown so that is what it is and afterwards will be I think that will be it just try as much as possible to cover the inner part of your crown so that um, everything can sit well if you want to be attaching an Alice band to this of course it can go well if you want to attach an elastic band with them um, to this crown it can also go well whichever one you want would go well so that is what it is and um like i say someone is already quoting me embellishment is a thing of the heart it's what you feel that you can actually embellish on your fascinator on your heart and uh, on whichever headpiece you want so if you are still interested in this video i'll also be showing you how i was able to embellish my to the look that you saw in the earlier clip we showed at the beginning of the tutorial so that is what it is and i hope you guys would watch till the end thank you guys and also i'm going to be shouting out to all the people that have been viewing this channel god bless you thank you so so much and um of course this is 2019 now we're about to round it up and i appreciate all your efforts so far for those that have been viewing me for those that have been watching for those that have liked all our works, for those that have commented, for those that are secretly watching without commenting, I appreciate you guys. For our, our subscribers, for those that have unsubscribed <laughs> from this channel, I really appreciate. Well, it's a team, it's your choice if for um, so, unsubscribing. But if you feel that um, you still need to subscribe, you can also subscribe. We really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. And um, of course, your participation also matters to this channel. If you really appreciate what we are giving out here, 
would like you also to allow the advertisements to run it's just five minutes it's just five seconds at times it's as it's it's as short as five seconds so just allow it to run so that we can get little revenue from the, all this effort we are putting out and thank you so so much and of course and uh, i won't forget all the prayers and uh, the messages everything thank you so so much it had all it had been a wonderful year and i'll be using this video to round up this year so of course and uh, i'll i hope to we hope to be better next year right of course we'll be greater we'll be better and we'll move mountains so please re get ready for us get ready with us because we are really going to run that race to the apex of this career love you guys and for the people that are still interested in our training please do not forget to contact us you have a uh, phone number i'll be putting my phone number right on the screen if i don't please check our previous videos you see our phone number there and of course you can also reach us out reach out to us through our email so thank you so much for everything and i hope you continue with this because this is a time we'll be embellishing the fascinate oh sorry the heart so i have different um options here i have a coid quill and of course a coid quill um a coid feather i also have this flower trim i also have um, a foam flower so whichever one that suits you you can even pack everything and um, put on the hat i see a lot of people that do that they just pack all sorts of designs and put on the hat you know it's your choice it's your way of um, embellishment so whichever one you feel you can do like what i'm just showing you, you can put everything if you want you can also separate it if you would want so that is just it so it's just uh, a matter of your choice and that was just it that's the simple um, embellishment i was able to do on this hat because i see it's already so beautiful so it doesn't really need so much shouty embellishment because it's already shouty already it's looking so beautiful and gorgeous it's not common it's something you can hardly find someone do so just try your hands on this it's going to be rewarding of course so thank you guys for watching and keep watching till the end of the video I love you bye see you in 2020 of course ha. with whole energy ready to kickstart all right guys take care love you bye